Welcome to the assembly video of the Center 2 Functional Trainer and Folding Adjustable Bench. Before you get started, read the entire Center 2 user manual before attempting to build or use this machine. The user manual contains step-by-step -step instructions for proper assembly. Warning, before beginning any exercise program, consult your physician. This is especially important for individuals over the age of 35 or persons with pre-existing health concerns. It is recommended that two people work together to assemble this machine. This Center 2 functional trainer and folding adjustable bench is intended for indoor use only. Rust can form on certain parts in a humid environment, resulting in impaired function. Unpack all parts and hardware parts and lay them out, preferably by step. Use the parts list included in this manual to verify that all parts are accounted for before assembly. If any parts are missing or you have any questions, contact center support for replacement parts through email, by phone, or through chat. Most hardware assembly follows a standard through bolt convention of bolt, washer, parts, washer, nut. Step 1. For step 1, you will require the right and left station, the bottom cross brace, the upper cross brace, and pull-up bar. For the first part of step 1, you will require 8M 10 by 70 mm Allen bolt and 16 10 mm washers. Have one person hold the user right station while the other joins the lower cross brace using 2M 10 by 70 mm Allen bolts, 4 10 mm washers, and 2 lock nuts. Hand tighten only at this time. Carefully bring the left station to the lower cross brace and repeat the same procedure. Next, attach the upper cross brace to the right and left station by using 4 M10 by 70 mm Allen bolts, 8 10 mm washers and 4 lock nuts. Hand tighten only at this time. Place the pull-up bar assembly on top of the right and left station. Secure each end with two M10 by 25 mm Allen bolts, two lock washers and two washers. We highly recommend the use of a stepladder to safely reach the attachment point. You may now securely tighten all installed hardware at this time. Step 2. For step 2, you will require for M10 by 80 mm Allen bolts and for 10 mm washers. First fit guide rods into the bottom of user right station using 2 M10 by 18 mm Allen bolts and 2 10 mm washers. Repeat this process on user left station. Next slide rubber bumper on each of the guide rods. Before installing the weight plate, it is important to note the orientation. Make sure the weight sticker cutout is facing the inside of the machine. The top surface is smooth, while the bottom has three lift points. Next, install 15 weight plates onto the guide rods to both the right and left stations. Next, locate the selector stem and then slide onto guide rods with the round tension plate facing forward. Next, remove the two M10 by 20 mm bolts, spring washers, and 10 mm washers, which were pre-assembled to hold the guide rod bracket. Slide onto both guide rods and reinstalled into original position. Fully tighten all hardware at this time. Once our weight plates are installed, please lubricate guide rod so the center 2 can operate smoothly.
Next, remove the pre-assembled pulley located on the selector stem. Wrap the cable between the U-shaped pulley bracket and reinstall the pulley. Insert the weight selector pin into the weight to make sure it goes in smoothly. Start from the bottom and work your way up. If the weight selector pin does not slide in smoothly, or it gets jammed, you will have to adjust the cable tension. You will do this by first removing the pulley from the U-shaped bracket. Then loosen the chrome lock nut and turn the bracket counterclockwise to loosen the cable tension or clockwise to add the tension. Once adjusted, be sure to tighten down the chrome lock nut and reinstall the cable and pulley. Make sure the weight selector pin goes in smoothly. For installation of the weight stickers, place number 1 on the selector step as it accounts for the first 10 pounds. Continue placing the weight stickers on the weight plate square cutouts. Step 3. For step 3, you will need to use two M5 by 8 mm Allen screws. Attach the height adjustment handle to the left lock switch on pulley carriage using M5 by 10 mm Allen screw. Now you can check if the carriage runs smoothly when adjusting positions. Repeat for both sides. Place all accessories onto the upper cross brace. Connect the single handle on each cable on the station using a spring clip. Make sure the cable is running smoothly. Your center 2 is fully assembled and ready to use. For the folding adjustable bench, there is a beige pop-in that adjusts the front leg. On the back of the bench, there's a safety lock. Unlock to position the backpack to the desired angle. This completes the assembly of your Center 2 functional trainer and folding adjustable bench. Congratulations! Transform your wellness routine and unlock limitless ways to train by activating your complimentary Center Digital membership. Get started and make the most of your Center 2 home gym with the included Quick Start Guide.